men's singles final coming up next. Coming to you live from St. Jacobs Halle here at the 2012 Swiss Open. Lee Hyun Il, world number seven, seated number five in this contest. Next, Chen Jin of China. The number four seed is going to be a big one. Chen Jin, world ranked number five in the world, 26 years of age from. Hebei province in China. He's 181 centimeters tall, 72 kilos. Won this event in 2010 after defeating Chen Long. He also won this event in 2007 after defeating Saki Santoso. This week in Basel, in his semi final, he took care of the Delicatia veteran Tufik Kiriak in 2011 21 18. In the quarter final, Darren Liu from Malaysia. In the third round, Jan Jurgensen uh, of Denmark. Jordan from, from Indonesia in the second round. And for a and in the first. On well, some recent activities for Jin Jin. Second round loss to Kiriak at the All England last week. And then a round loss to Wong Wing Ki from Hong Kong at the German Open Grand Prix Gold. And a semi final in retired against Kenichi Targo at the Malaysian Open earlier in January. Some career highlights, he won the Singapore Open after a walkover from Yundan, won the 2010 BWF World Championships after the feat in the in the final. He mentioned the 2010 Swiss Open Super Series defeating Chen Long in the 2008 All England Super Series defeating Lin Dan in the final. His opponent here today, Li Hyun Il, of Korea, ranked number seven in the world. I have him down as seeded number six, but he is the number five seed here. A left hand up, he's 176 centimeters tall. There's quite a big difference in the height, 67 kilos. This week in Basel, yesterday in the semi final, he took care of Chen Long, number two seed from China, 21 14, 21 19. In these quarter final, he went up against uh, Denmark's teenage sensation Victor Axelsen. Axelsen playing some wonderful tennis, uh, <laughs> some wonderful badminton, I should say, throughout this season. That didn't reflect in the score though, 21 15, 21 14. Third round, he took care of Xu Xiangyi of Chinese Taipei and Dita Tonka of Germany in the second round and Sunny D from Portal from Indonesia in the first round. Well, the stage is set. We are just about set to get into our men's singles final. The number four seed, Chen Jin of China, taking on the number five seed, Li Hun Il of Korea. Service job, Judge Osborne. The 12th time these two have met before, Chen Jin leads in the head to head ranking 7 4. Our last time coming at the Korea Grand Prix Gold event in Hwasun last year in 2011. I was there. It was a wonderful match. Walking away the winner 17 21 21 13. Too quickly, Lee Sean Hill perhaps a, looking a little bit lazy on that approach to that shot, just holding his racket out, not really giving much swing at all. Came with 
speed though. That being said, tough shot for a turn. Jin brought down to his knees. A bleeding shot again to that back corner, placing it all over the court. Chen Jin getting a workout early on. <laughs> example of Swiss precision right into the back corner. through the motions, the big left hand smash. Seven, four. Taking it straight back on the line. Five, seven. So much play. 
play directed towards those rear and side lines in this contest. Looking for those outright winners. Center stage. Lee Hyun Il, in particular, his footwork is so clean. The edge of his toes, more like a like a table tennis player. The rear of the table. Wonderfully sharp instincts. Very quick with reaction time. In all directions. Waiting for that switch in direction, but Lee keeping him guessing, holding that straight line. Working away at that left hand side, we can see Chen just eager to get back to the center of that court, expecting that quick change, but it didn't come. in the first game, the men's singles final here at the 2012 Swiss Open. Jim just 
continues to hand these over. You can hear that support in the crowd. That's from the Chen Jin. Of course, the Koreans dominating proceedings here last year. Number of all Korean affairs in the finals. Zaina now one of the only non-Korean champions last year in the women's singles. I think uh, the Danish pair played the jewel and Morganson perhaps didn't quite come to mind and took the mixed doubles. Again, just holding that line very nicely, very straight. There's that leading shot, just dropping it over the net to that right-hand corner and then straight down the line. We've seen Chen Jin covering a lot of court. It's not Superman, it's Lee Hyun Il. Plenty of air time. Can't get it on the first one here. And he had the second chance, he was diving to his side, pulling it back. 14-7. And again, just taking away all the speed of the shot. Going more about where to place it. It's quite deceiving if we have a look. to the racket that it just wasn't going to carry the distance. Chen Jin hasn't really had a chance to do much from his serves. Two straight points is the most he's achieved so far. We've seen a string of six early on from the Korean. Gap caught out by the net. Gap closed to just five points. 10, 15. Jim oh. has spent a lot of time on the floor, on his knees, diving for these big overhead smashes. Winners just continue to add up. Perfect 
beautifully played. Turns in, again reaching for the floor on two occasions, really finding himself on that back foot. On the defensive side as Lee just continues to draw him around the court from one side to the other. And that last little shot, again, just the right touch. Forcing the big lift from Chen and Lee, as we've seen so many times throughout this game. Just hitting straight down that left line with the big left and the head shot. Chen just waiting for that switch in direction, but it still hasn't come on the majority of those shots. Lee, of course, not giving anything away with the approaches to those shots. Just waiting for that last moment to decide on the direction. Following through magnificently. looks over towards our umpire in the chair, Schlieben. Thought it was out, there was no overruling coming. Back of the service, the uh, line judge. Had a very stern look on his face. The league getting caught out on a number of occasions now, those low shots, just trying to lift it back into play. Put the power on it, 14, just ricocheting off the strings. Attention, not enough to put it up and over. Convincing to say the least. 21 14. Lee Hyun Il, the number five seed, off to a brilliant start, claiming the first game in this men's singles final at the Swiss Open.
Chen Jin will need to dig deep, try and build off the support he has in the crowd. 14-21 was the score in the first. Lee Sean Hill playing brilliantly here. Just a couple of little mistakes coming, but it was all coming from trying to set up the winning shots. playing a huge part. The shuttle just kissing the top of the tape before deciding to roll back down. Didn't quite continue over. directing it away from his opponent. Lovely switch. His first point in the ball in the second game. from Chen Jin. His head is really in the game now. He's incredibly focused. back here. Three two. Three five.
was a little sharp. He really winding up the rear of his court. Seven, three. Retreating back. Oh, very quick. Read it well. And Lee is really struggling now to try and put his tactics into use. I think Chen is pretty much on to his game here. with a, a convincing lead. I think it was about 11-4. I see Chin Chin just doing much that here in the second game. And he does 11-3. He's the score at the break. Chen Jin, the number four seed from China, really taken note of what his coach had to say between games. He's come out a new player, totally changed. Singles final decided in the third. of Chen in the center of the court there. He's forcing Lee to push a little bit oh. those shots. Not quite able to work him into position to open up that free court that we saw in the first. Those big, long leading shots into the rear of the corner, trying to hold him on that left-hand side, that preferred side. Points from Tianjin. Trying to fight back. Oh! That was a short lived serve. Just one attempt.
clears the entire court. to try and push the boundaries, but Hugh Neal has been defeated by them. showing signs of class. He's drawing him in. This is what we saw so much of in that opening game. Bringing him in. Chen was quite quick to retreat back, but still didn't have any idea of the direction. Another one. Well, better late than never. Lee Chenil is starting to open up. Swinging freely. Seventeen. Oh, yeah. can match the strength and power overhead. Eighteen eight. <laughs> nearer and nearer towards those decisive points. Eighteen eight. Only fitting with such an evenly matched up pair at the men's singles final. The outcome should be decided in the third. That's what the crowd would want. We only had one, yeah. one match yesterday going the full distance. 21-9. I thought 14-21 was convincing in the opening. Chen Jin has really lifted his game. He really is lacking his game here. See how they go when we return the third final and deciding game of the men's singles final coming right up.
Chen Jin causing a little bit of a frenzy with his uh, female admirers in the crowd as he changed his top between games, taking on board everything the coaches had to say. Lee, Troy Hill, on the other hand, just standing solo. I think he very much knows what he needs to do. Try and revert back to those tactics from the first game and keep his opponent guessing. Chen Jin, after the scoreline in the second, 21-9. He'll certainly hold the upper hand entering into the decider. Consecutive shots as soon as Chen's knee touches the floor. That's the indication for Lee to, to heat things up a little bit. Start to the third, just guess we've seen most of all our games so far here. to play anyway, but it's just slightly wide. Three points all. Superb, absolutely superb. The crowd again on the edge of their seats throughout the rally. Let's have another look. Such a 
close contact. Wonderful switch in direction. A little backhand net kill, just putting it a little bit deeper. down a little bit between points. Taking a moment to compose themselves, me in particular. judge regarding the call he certainly thinks that he was hard done by the nod from the chair indicated that now the chair umpire agreed with the turn and after a second Four, look there it five. certainly looked to drop into play before bouncing out Going up strong, but dropping it forward. Just able to put his nose back in front with the point. Yeah. <laughs> 
on. Looks like we're going to get back into this game here where the lines will count for so much. Accuracy, so important. I'd really like to see Lee Hornell trying to put a little bit more on those little drop shots over the net. Maybe a bit more tumble, a bit more spin or something. Jin taking no time at all to level the score. Seven all in the deciding, this deciding game. Plenty of height, really getting on top of the shot. Jin Jin has to be one of the taller players in the game. 181 centimetres tall, 5 foot 11 inches. on it, just holding the racket out. held a long way back and his backhand returns from the rear of the court forcing his back to, to face the net momentarily just losing sight of the game it wasn't that that gave the point away it was Lee playing to the exact same spot and the twisting back to get into that position always difficult to reverse back nine points to eight Lee Hunil has the serve We've had a, a convincing margin by the time we've got to this part. <laughs> Won't be the case as we go into the next break. Oh, oh well. It is disappointing. Oh. Not following through, not swinging with the shot really at all. Just trying to direct it over the net. Such a close play, not the right choice. 10 9, Chen Jin looking to serve us into the interval. Oh! And he does 11 9. Well, we are set for a dramatic conclusion to our men's singles final. It's just what the crowd has craved throughout the week. A wonderful way to finish off the contest.
the excitement building here. And so now comes Halep in Basel, Switzerland. Final stage of this men's singles contest. Our highest remaining single players in the contest. On the center stage, Xianjin fighting hard in that second game. Convincing margin 21-9 after dropping the first 14-21. He holds a narrow lead, 11-9, serving as we come out of the break. on the way up and Lee is the last player to let those sort of things get away just charging into the net caught right back he knew what was coming Ten, uh, a little bit of work still remaining for Lee two points is the difference going long before Chen decided to leave it. Stepping up to control the point in the, the latter stage again. That switch in direction was what started it off. Chen Jin clearly worried by it. He knew that he was on the back foot again. There was the first, there's the second. And now all tied up. 13 points all in this third game. The crowd loving every moment. No one is going anywhere. Now ice cream salesman has even sat down to catch the last of this game. Well, the 
majority of the support in the crowd, overwhelmingly for the young Chinese player Chen Jin. Looks like she's been young, he's been around for some time now, 26 years of age. the big clearance. He was expecting it to come with speed. He was already on his way down to cover it, but just couldn't pull it back into play. to play but just couldn't recover that momentary lapse he thought it was going had to keep it alive and well, it was a long way back to come forward again Fatigue will certainly start to be kicking in at this stage. We've been on court now for 62 minutes of play. We are no closer to, to deciding our champion. One point separating our two players. Close to the net. Chen 
just lunging forward for the net kill. Just catching it inches above the top of the tape. Still enough to send it back down. 18-16. story of the afternoon for Lee hyun -il. The line often hampering his play. He has helped from time to time, particularly in that first game, but since then, struggled. 19-16, two clear points is required for Chen Jin to claim the title. boost he needed and with that it is match point changing from China serving for the title 2017 after 66 minutes of play we haven't seen so many going the full distance this week in Basel Lee has won every single one of his matches in straight games Chen Jin has also done the same, has not dropped the game, his first one was the opening one of this 2017 serving for the title, Chen Jin of China. Disappointed Lee Hyun Il. The final score 21 17. Chen Jin has done it 14 21, 21 9, 21 17. A wonderful achievement. The crowd getting exactly what they've craved throughout the week. A spectacular finish to the men's singles contest. Our award ceremony coming up very shortly. Coming up after that is going to be another highlight of the day. The women's singles final. Our reigning champion, number three seed from India, Saina Nawal, will take on the number two seed from China, Wang Shishian.
singles champions and runner-up. Our runner-up, the number five seed, Lee Hyun Il. <laughs> Fantastic showing throughout the week. And what a way to finish it off, coming right down to the wire. Daniel Steiner. a slow start in today's final, but he got there in the end. Chen Jin of China, a worthy victor. A big congratulations. And as mentioned, coming up in a few moments' time, our women's singles final. Seeing that now all the number three seed taking on Wang Xixian of China. Two seed, 